sub this to fucking desert dime. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today is day two of searching for random noises coming from my truck. If you watch the first video you will see I was attacking some rattling coming from the back seat uh, passenger side panel where the seat belt goes into. Uh, Diagnel said it was a broken clip back there so we ripped the entire uh, panels and buckets out of the back seat to try to get to that clip. Uh, I need to go buy more clips today and get it done, but before I drive to the store to get that, we're attacking sound number two. So as you just heard from the clip, sound number two is some sort of like thudding. It almost sounds like a like a like a very light drum roll going on, and that's coming from somewhere behind the dash. I pinpointed it somewhere here behind the glove box, and after taking the glove box off yesterday, I almost pinpointed it down to about the motor for the cabin air filter or the cabin air filter itself. So what I'm going to do today in this video is we're taking off the glove box, we're pulling out the cabin air filter, and we're pulling out the motor to see if there's anything in there, maybe like leaves or something that's just smacking around in there making that noise. It is a very simple, straightforward process, so we'll do that really quickly, clean it out, and then we're going to take the truck, drive it over to the auto parts store to get more clips for this monstrosity going on back here. And um, we should be able to button up two of the three sounds today. All right, so first things first, we gotta get the glove box out and it's super simple. I'm gonna open it up. Then on the right side over here, you'll see the little sort of like actuating kind of like uh, drop suppression. I don't know what to call it, honestly. But all we're gonna have to do for that is right here at the bottom where you see that it kind of clips into, just get some needle nose or even if you can do it with your fingers, pinch. There's two little tabs right there. You pinch that and then it'll slide right off. And then once you have that detached from the bottom, you just pinch the top sides and it drops straight down. See right here, you see the actuator in here just kind of flowing freely now. And then all it is is like little C clamps right here holding it on, so you just pop it up. And the whole glove box comes out. So now that it's out, you see the cabin air filter door right here. You just grab these two tabs. You pull it down and open. And you'll see the filter right here. So I just recently had my filter changed, so it's fairly clean. I'm just seeing if there's any debris in there making that ticking noise. We got some leaves and stuff, but I don't think that this is the cause of the problems. What I think the true problems might be coming from, especially because I shoved my head all the way down under here with my ear up to it, might be something in the motor. So we're going to go ahead and take this out next. Now the motor is just as simple as getting the air filter out itself. All we're going to have to do is disconnect this clip right here, which you just push up pull out then you pull it out of this holding clip right there then there's one more clip right here in the back that I believe is the same sort of deal as the one to get the actuator off the glove box which is gonna be just get some needle nose pliers pinch it and pull the line off now that we have all three of those disconnected there's just three little screws going in holding this in and the screw head size is a very odd size I've never used before, never even thought of using before, but it's a 5.5 tiny, tiny little guy. As you start to do the last one, make sure you're supporting this motor because once all three of these are out, it's just going to drop straight down. So some bittersweet news, this thing is completely clean, nothing in it, no debris whatsoever. So, uh, bitter because I was hoping I'd find something in here and it was hitting the fan shroud making the noise, but sweet because it's perfectly clean. All right, well I'm gonna turn on the truck and put it in drive, and that's usually when the noise starts, so we'll see if we still hear it, and see if we can pinpoint it if it is still making the noise. I don't hear anything. I don't know if um, the sound ever came from me driving it for a while, then it would start. It seemed like that might have been the case, but for right now, I don't hear anything. So I think I'm gonna reassemble the cabin air filter and the motor, go to the store, pick up the clips I need, come back and see if it's still happening or if maybe it was one of those loose leaves or who knows, could have been something that I just shook loose doing that. Hold the phone, hold the phone. As soon as I said that and I stopped recording, I hear the noise slowly starting up. 
It sounds a lot more prominent and a lot less muffled now that the motor and filter aren't in there. Who knows, maybe I could diagnose it a little bit better without it in there. But the problem is, it only does it when I'm in gear at a lower RPM, so I need somebody in here to hold the brake while I do this. I can't just have it in park. It's a lot worse in reverse than it is drive for some reason. I don't know why that matters. But it's like bright, it's something right here. I can hear it clear as day. Let me go see if I can get Bryson to hold the brake. All right, so now that we have Bryson here, it being a great co-mechanic, <laughs> holding the brakes for me, I can get my head up under here and listen for the sound. And I was feeling around and what I found is this bracket right here, if I press up on it, it would stop the noise. And I let go and it start vibrating. So I think it's just something loose, rattling, but after I pushed up on it a few times, and let go, it's just stopped. It hasn't started making it again since, so it is probably just something loose rattling around. Nothing detrimental like I need to fix before I keep driving it, which is good. But like I said, right now it's not making it anymore, so I'm just gonna leave it alone and see if it comes back. And if it does, we'll dig a little deeper into this. I know, I know, it's a very anticlimactic resolution to this whole video, but um, it was better news than something being broken. And at the very least, we learned how to take out the cabin air filter, the glove box, and the uh, blower motor right below it. So we learned something today. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. I guess that is two of the three sounds resolved. The third one, I don't think I'm making a video on until I get back from my trip because it stopped making the noise. It's essentially, it just sounds like a belt, um, like a bad belt, but the belt looks fine and everything. So it might just be because it's been raining and it got wet or something, who knows. Again, I won't know until I get back from that trip, and then if it's still a problem, we'll diagnose it and go from there. So thank you so much for sticking around on this uh, part two of the three-part series of random noises in my truck, and I will catch you guys in the next one.